Hello, hello guys. So good news for the HT2 owners. I finally managed to install Lollipop ROM on it. Um, so first of all, if you'd like to install this ROM and try it by yourself and you don't know how to install it, let me know in the comments and if I get um, many, qu many questions about it, I will definitely do a video on how to install it because the owner of, owner of the ROM, he provides the um, steps on how to install it, but they are not so direct and many people are uh, having problems with it. So the also the owner of the ROM, he provides two ROMs, this one uh, Cyanogen mod and he provides one also uh, Slim ROM. The Slim ROM it's better because it uh, doesn't drain so much memory but it's worse because it's not so stable like this one uh, let me show you so you can see android version 5.111 cyanogen mod version it's not official it's an official one it's like it's ported and it's not it's not good for daily uses because um, it uses too much uh, ram and how the phone has only 512 megabytes of RAM. Let me show you on apps. Um, <coughs> running. Also, before I installed the gaps, the phone was running um, much smoother. Let me focus. You can see I have free RAM 177 megabytes. It's okay. Before I installed the gaps, the phone was running much faster um, but without gaps you can't go in play store you can download apps and so on and see i don't know if this is a modification by cyanogen mod or if it's official from the lollipop uh, let me know in the comments if it's official or it's uh, it's a modification from cyanogen mod i tried to download from play store and i downloaded uh, app cache and youtube and YouTube, uh, it works good and not so good. <laughs> but of course, how the ROM it's like in alpha stages, and everything it's installed on SD card. I have like to run this ROM. Uh, we must do like four partitions. And okay, done. Come on, come on. It's it's kind of slow the ROM. It's that's why it's not good for daily uses. But if you want to try the new Android, it's definitely worth it. It's not smooth, but it's not bad. Also, you can see here the apps I have opened already. I have many apps. Okay, not many, but decent apps. Let me show you the files file manager. Uh, file manager. On file manager, it runs pretty decent. So you can scroll pretty decent between the folders. You can scroll, for example, here, camera. Oh yeah, actually, I took a picture with it. The camera, it's kind of sloppy. It's, it's like very slow, but it takes the pictures. You can see it took here the picture. It's okay. It's okay for uh, Alpha uh, ROM. It's uh, pretty good. Again, let's go here. Let's close all, for example. Um, what? Show you that. Oh, no, no. This is a browser. The browser it opens kind of slow, um, but you can browse it. We hope the owner of the ROM he keeps on optimizing the ROM. Yeah. The keyboard also appears. Uh, very slow Let, let's type for example youtube see so can uh, very slow but the keyboard but it does the job it does the job uh, yeah also the rom is installed on full sd card so you must use a, a class 10 sd card if you lose class 4 then don't expect it to to be uh, smooth I show you the dialer. Uh, doesn't open everything fast, but it does the job. Recent dialer. 
Okay, let's go. Oh, also, good uh, thing I found. I'm not sure again if it's available in, in official Lollipop ROM or if it's a modification from Cyanogen. I didn't found this uh, option in uh, Slim ROM. For example, if I slide like this, the you can see the brightness go down. If I slide back, the the brightness should go back. Uh, if I can get it right. I'm not getting it right. Let's go brightness full. Brightness full. Let's go again. It go down. Okay, it shut it down. <laughs> Let's go again. No. Sometimes I manage to to make it. Let's go. For example, go down again. And let's bring it up. Ah, it's a bit sloppy. But sometimes I, I, I get it. You can see the first time I get from full brightness to to, to low brightness. But now I'm not getting it. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's in the option. It's in the options. Let me show you the in the options. Uh, you see the settings doesn't open so fast. But it's okay. This is like a full Cyanogen mod. I think it's in status bar. This option. And yeah, brightness control. Just brightness control by slide sliding across the status bar. So yeah, let me show you the storage. The storage. Um, where is the storage? Storage. I have like internal 143 gigabytes and an SD card 4 gigabytes and the rest is partitions for the ROM and if you want a tutorial on how to install it you will understand the how the partition works here is the status bar the lollipop one it works pretty good the for uh, again for a uh, alpha beta or unofficial uh, ROM or whatever it's called I like it and um, finally we get something uh, on the HD2 a ROM a lollipop ROM that actually works we got before a uh, lollipop ROM but it was very buggy and very bad now this one it's pretty good and yeah if you like this video guys don't forget to thumbs up and also Comment down below if you want a tutorial how to install it or no. So see you in the next one guys.